I wonder if we might start by a, 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 a sort of overall context setting question. We're talking a lot about Grexit right now, the possibility of Greece leaving the Eurozone. As a big German business, Karl Ludwig, how are you and others in the German business scene preparing yourselves for what could be the fallout of this Greek crisis? Actually, uh, maybe I'm contradicting to your story of today, but I'm here in Israel to talk about the sustainable long-term future, which is innovation. So uh, building the company's future on what really holds on for the long term. I'm much less concerned for our company as far as Greece is concerned. I have been wondering throughout the last months how much time Europe is spending on the Greece issue. For me, it's something which now creates some turbulences, but Europe will go on. So it's nothing which is on my mind for the long term. We are prepared with the normal measures you do in such situations, but it's nothing which is worrying me really to the extent which the financial markets are maybe worried at the moment. M&A is something that is on your mind, though, Carl Ludwig, doing deals. Tell me how that takes you to Israel. Um, the, as I told you, Anna, the, the background noise is tremendous. So I'm, it might be that I'm answering slightly besides your point. Please don't hesitate to, to ask again. But uh, what we do in here in Israel is a lot of alliances, research corporations, in building for our life science business, for the pharmaceutical business, a sustainable long-term business. Uh, we have a German-Israeli Innovation Day today, which maybe is even the counterpoint to what uh, you're discussing currently uh, over the wires. Yes, what kind of uh, M&A opportunities do you see, was my question, Karl Ludwig. How many deals are you looking to do? Okay. Okay, actually we are announcing today that we will uh, acquire 100% of a company which is dealing, it's called Coolite, which is dealing with quantum rods and is helping us to extend and further build our leading position in the liquid crystals business, which is used for flat display where we are world market leader. Secondly, um, we are in the process of taking over Sigma Aldrich. Uh, which has a huge presence here in Israel. The Israeli antitrust authorities has, have cleared the deal. So our Israeli presence will uh, more than triple by these two acquisitions. Do you see consolidation in the pharmaceutical se uh, sector, Carl Ludwig, as something that will continue? Are we going to see more takeovers and mergers in pharmaceuticals? Um, the answer is yes, but not necessarily from our side. Uh, from our perspective, size is, not, size is not everything which matters. It's about the quality of the cooperation. It's bridging the gap between small biotech, entrepreneurial, and the process-driven pharmaceuticals. And you don't need to be one of the big pharma guys to do that. We as a medium pharmaceutical company can do it without major acquisitions and mergers in the next years.